At the 7th annual Berkeley Street Art Festival, folks experienced creativity, tackled culinary experiences, and even explored ways to adopt a pet. And they're all up for adoption. Since inception, how many dogs have you been able to help get adopted? There's been, man, thousands. Rachel Marriott adopted Sadie, a German Shepherd from Sam last year. I just saw her and she was so cute. I had to have her and I love her. The 14-year-old says she now has a best friend. She loves to play, she loves to swim, she loves everything really. Seeing how a dog can change a human's life is what keeps Sam going. But uh, the trend has changed the last few years, right? Yeah, the adoptions have um, decreased and I believe it's got a lot to do with the fact that people are working more so from home, mm. which means they can do it from a motel room also. All you need is take your laptop with you so you can travel more. And if that's the case, then you don't have time for a dog. Sam says before the pandemic, adoption was at an all time high and he didn't have enough dogs. In 2020, that trend dipped to about 150 dog adoptions a month. But now that number is hovering around 30. I get the stats from my adoptive pet. It tells me how many people have looked at my dogs. On average, between 50 and 20,000 people. Now, if this trend continues, how much of an impact will you see in the adoption industry? Adoptions will go down. We won't stop rescuing, but we'll have to reduce what we can rescue. Sam says another reason behind the decline is newer housing options are not pet friendly. There's a lot of people that are running homes that are not allowing them to take in pets. I mean, I've heard it five, six times here already today. But Sam says there's still hope if folks take up fostering just like Stacy Perot. I lost a dog and I wasn't ready to get a new dog yet. So I thought I would foster for a while and see how that went. So now I have two of my own and I still foster. Now Sam says the adoption process at No Dogs Left Behind Rescue is year round, simple and most importantly, affordable. To learn more about it, just head to WXYZ.com. In Berkeley, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 News Detroit.